All right, I know what you're thinking, but you're too embarrassed to ask. Ryan, how do I get free money to kick my mother-in-law out of the house? All right, well, one of the hottest topics on the, you know, on the market, on the streets, at the cocktail parties is these ADUs. What's an ADU? Well, it's an accessory dwelling unit. It's a, a granny flat, a mother-in-law's quarters, right? And it is the hot ticket. With the shortage we have in housing, at the state level of California, they are trying to push down policies to make it easier for people to create housing units. They're trying to get rid of red tape. They're trying to streamline and make things faster. And since 2017, there has been a slew of new laws coming out that benefit landowners that want to develop their land. Let's take a little bit uh, of a, a sneak peek, a look into it, and talk about how do you get free money to build one of these things. Here we go. What is an ADU? There's varying types. There's things called J ADUs, there's ADUs. So you've got junior accessory dwelling, junior accessory dwelling units, you've got accessory dwelling units. And this is uh, from LA city right here. This is a typical rundown of what some of these might look like. So you've got a garage conversion, you've got a detached garage converting it, right? You've got a home conversion. You're using part of the area of your home, walling it off and making that, you know, it, giving it its own kitchen and bath and making it its own living space. Uh, you could be over here, a new detached ADU. So you built somebody com something completely new, uh, or you maybe add on to a garage to make an ADU, right? Uh, or you do a home addition, push out your home to do that you know, ADU, or a junior ADU. You already have an ADU and you make another one attached to the home. There's quite a few options here. We're seeing it a lot where somebody's adding onto their house an ADU and then building out the garage as well, and they're renting both of them out. So these are huge. Um, these are some of the new laws. Here's 2023 guide to the new ADU laws in California. If you're, I'm not gonna go through all this. If you're interested, do some Googling. There's a lot of great bullet point items out there. But some of the key things that people are using these ADUs for, it's kind of house hacking. You can go and get financing in a lot of situations where they'll fund the whole development of this and take and already have the financing you know, put in place because they look at what you can rent this for and they look at what their costs and the loan are and it's less. So you can instantly add value to your property, rent it out and basically have that tenant paying off uh, something of value for you, right? It, they're basically paying into your four savings account as well as having that cash flow on that ADU. That's why we have a lot of clients coming to us. One, when they're looking for homes, they want homes that are gonna lend themselves to easily doing an ADU. What does that look like? Detached garages are great. Um, bigger lots are fantastic. Cities where they don't have, you know, already onerous setback, you know, laws. So it's going to be easier to get through the city um, as well as, you know, just trying to force the state's guidelines on top of them. So there's a lot of things we're looking at layout, how, what the sewer sept, you know, sewer system kind of looks like, where things are in that house, where they would add on and how they can do so cheaply. So some key points here, ADUs add value to your property. If you rent them out, you have somebody else paying off you know, that asset for you, which is awesome. They're normally more affordable. You already own the land. Uh, it's very easy to get in. You know utilities are there. Um, and garage conversions are very cheap most of the time because you've already got the four walls and the roof on top of it. Uh, especially if you have decent off-street parking or you've got a good amount of street parking and you don't really need or use that garage. Uh, they obviously provide a source of rental income. Um, it's affordable housing for extended family, but you still have privacy, right? You can kick that mother-in-law out of the house and give her her own house. I mean, she's happy, you're happy, everybody's happy, right? Honestly, I love my mother-in-law, so she can come stay with us whenever. I got no issues there. Um, and then you've got you know flexibility of shared living areas um, while allowing seniors to age in place. Why pay for you know senior housing somewhere if you can add on or do an ADU, have them live there? You can keep eyes on you know your your family as they get older, um, and you don't have to pay these these crazy prices for senior living facilities so there are some great benefits here um, but there's 
what's also there's been some crazy changes so now if the city doesn't respond to your plans within 60 days the state has deemed it as just straight up approved so I'll read through some of these namely ab uh 2221 pretty awesome they've gone through and allowed different height requirements different setback re uh, requirements um so there's some really really cool stuff rolling through here uh, I would go look look at them. Again, there's some great uh, bullet points on the, the different uh, laws that have rolled through. Uh, what else is cool is in LA, city of LA, they have streamlined it. So they have these ADU approved standard plans. You can go on here, uh, uh, view these approved plans, pay for the plans from the architects who have already you know, paid to submit them to the, the city. And if you get one of these, you can get fast track because the city already knows everything. They've already rubber stamped it. And if you're gonna rent this out, they will move you to the front of the line and cut down all your turn times. So you can build this fast and get it rented out because they want more rentals in the rental pool. So check into that. That is huge if you're living in the city of LA. And the clickbait for this whole site is how do I get the free money, right? Where's the free money coming from? Well. This ADU grant from Cal HFA, they blew all their money in early March, just like they did with the California Dream for All program when that opened, they ran through it fast. But this is something we wanted to get on all of our clients' radar because if they open it back up, you wanna make sure that you are notified. So you can go on here to Cal HFA, you can sign up for their email notifications, but what is awesome is this ADU grant provides up to $40,000 towards pre-development and non-recurring closing costs associated with the construction of the ADU. Pre-development costs include site prep, so you gotta do grading, maybe tear something down, uh, architectural designs, permits, soil tests, impact fees, property survey, and energy reports. This is fantastic. This covers a ton of the upfront costs that really um, are, are kind of the, uh, the hurdle for some people to get to the point to where they can build because some of these companies out there that will lend you money to for the adu want to see uh, approved plans already but to get to improve plans in certain cities you're obviously going to need your permits sometimes you're going to need your soil tests your impact fees like okay there's going to be more sewer so you have to pay impact fees for sewer for school all these fees so they'll actually pay up to 40 grand towards school impact fees, sewer impact fees, water, whatever, soils tests, permits, architectural plans, all that stuff you gotta get to get an approval to then go get the, the easy loan money that's out there for you. So this is an awesome Bridge the Gap program. If you're interested in it, we're keeping tabs on it. Feel free to DM us or message us below. We also can get you in touch with some fantastic contractors our clients have used to build their ADUs that they've all been raving about. We'd love to put you in contact with that. Um, and just know that some of these loans out there are actually um, on par with normal um, uh, financing costs. And some of the home equity lines of credit you can get out there right now through some of these credit unions are actually below these 30 year conforming rates. So you can go get your grant when it opens again uh, that you're gonna be monitoring and then go in and look at your different financing options, whether it's conforming, you know, maybe you do a cash out refi because that's the best bet or you just go and take a home equity line of credit at and use that or they've got um, other standalone ADU loans that are out there as well that you can take a look at. So. Definitely, if you like what we're talking about, go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button, please, and share this with any friends that you have that might be looking at ADU. And if they've got more questions, feel free to message us. We will definitely get you all the info you need. I was just trying to do a quick, broad stroke on this one for you. Um, and other than that, thank you for checking us out here at Real Estate Daily.